The task of the leaders is to get their people from where they are to where they've not been. How do we hold our leaders accountable in the business of lawmaking and representation? The mandate that you have given to us is not abuse in any way. The primary purpose of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the Nigerian people. The constituency project had noble intentions and they still remain the most veritable tool. Do they really know their representatives at the states and national assemblies? Our people, they don't have water, they are suffering. They, they only drink water from where they fall. For the current one, the intent assembly, I don't really know who is in charge. From the mountaintops to the deepest valleys, we're ready to go an extra mile just to show Nigerian your constituency project. Know your representative with Maria, bridging the visible gap. Alongside the arrival of the Lombokiri citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, please let's welcome with a resounding outburst, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, President of the Senate, and Chairman of the National Assembly, and Chairman of the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Dr. Godswill, or both at Babi We welcome you, sir. Also recognize the presence of the host governor, the governor of a Ibom State, His Excellency Omo Basi Eno, a being represented by a distinguished senator, Her Excellency Senator Akon Eyagini. We'd like to welcome you in his stead. Please a warm round of applause for Her Excellency and a round of applause for His Excellency, the President of the Senate. Excellency. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola, Ahmed Tinumbu, GCFR. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, and the Chairman, this Governing Council, Distinguished Senator Dr. Godwill Robert Akpabio, CON. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Speaker, House of Representatives, and the alternate chairman needs governing council, right honorable Abbas Tadjudin, PhD. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Barao Gibran, CON. Your Excellencies, past President of the Senate, the Leader of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Doctor. Michael Okoyemi by Medele CON, Principal Officers of the Senate, Your Excellency, former House of Representatives and Chief of Staff of the President, Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila CFR, Distinguished Senators, Present and Past, the immediate past Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari and former Under Secretary to the United States, or Nation rather, Professor Ibrahim Abuola Gambari CFR. Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Olawale Edun, and other ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, serving and former Clerk to the National Assembly, Alaji Sani Magaji Tambawa, Executive Chairman and indeed a major key stakeholders on this retreat, the, the Federal Inline Referendum, Mr. Sakios Adedeji, FCA. Esteemed and carefully selected resource persons, Clark Senate, Barista Chinedu Akubese, Deputy Clark Senate and Permanent Secretaries of the National Assembly, Directors, Deputy Directors, and Monument Members of NEWS, Captain of Industry, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the President of the Senate, His Excellency Senator Dr. Godwill Abbott Akpabi Suen, and the Deputy Senate President Jibrin Barao Suen, I am delighted to welcome His Excellency. Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, 
the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Federal Republic of Nigeria, the entire leadership of National Assembly, distinguished senators of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as our resource person to these retreats. You will recall that only a few weeks ago, our institute, in collaboration with its partners, hosted the leadership of the 10th National Assembly to a retreat that focused on identifying priority business areas, development of strategic legislative agenda, and its alignment with the eight-point agenda of the President Mohammed Bami Bola Ahmed Chinobuji CFR. As part of the communique of that retreat, it was recommended that synchronizing the agenda of the executive and the legislature will be crucial to enhancing national development. In my view, the nomination of our institute, NAILS, as an institutional member of the Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform, inaugurated by the President, is a clear indication of the realizations of the importance of the National Assembly to the socio-economic agenda of the present administration. Viewed within the above context, therefore, this retreat will focus on fiscal policy and tax reform. Is therefore a clear demonstration of the commitment of the National Assembly, not only to begin to grapple with challenges of economic downturn as manifested in high cost of living, loss of jobs, inflations and general contractions of the economy, among others, but also align with fiscal and sectoral reforms, including designing an effective tax administration, which our able president, Bola Hamed Tinumbu, GCFR, seek to unveil as part of major to revitalize and rejig our economy. In a broader perspective, permit me to note at this juncture that this retreat should be viewed as part of the ways and means of enhancing the knowledge and strengthening the technical capacity of senators in the discharge of your responsibility generally, support the deepening of your knowledge and skills on public financial management, and identifying how the Senate can support the Committee on the Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms. It is to also strengthen measure to further enhance legislature executive relationship and address issues on, of insecurity which have ample meaningful developments in our country. Furthermore, the retreat will also open discourse on electoral reforms as part of democratic consolidation in the light of the experiences gained with the operations of the 2022 Electoral Act in the 2023 general election. In the design of the program for this retreat, therefore, painstaking efforts have been made to ensure that all relevant topics that touch on the economy globally and nationally were included. Also, the eight-point agenda of the president Alignment of the legislative agenda with the programs of the executive, security, as well as electoral reforms are major areas that will also be discussed in the next two days. We have empaneled for each session seasoned experts so as to ensure that tangible outcomes are arrived at at the end of the day. Distinguished Senators, the first thing I have to say to you is thank you very much. The last time that I was before you was to ask for your confirmation of my nomination as a Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And um, I stand grateful to you for having considered me fit to be nominated and confirmed. Having said that, I also would like to um, express my deep appreciation for the honor done to me today to ask me not only to provide a goodwill message, but I, indeed I believe later on to speak more uh, deeply 
regarding the economy and particularly the, the, the context in which we find ourselves, the challenges as well as the prospects and the plan of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to put us on the road to rapid, inclusive economic growth that will create jobs and reduce poverty. It is a challenging time, but not just in Nigeria. We have just um, participated as a team, the Nigerian economic team, myself and Governor of Central Bank, as well as other government officials in the World Bank IMF annual meetings. And the overall mood and context and information coming from there is that the world is still recovering from the COVID pandemic. I am honored to stand before this eminent gathering of distinguished senators to give a goodwill address on this critical matter of fiscal policy and tax reform in Nigeria. Your dedication to the welfare of our nation and its citizens is commendable and I appreciate the opportunity to share the perspective of the Federal Inland Revenue Services on this vital subject. As the acting chairman of Federal Inland Revenue, I am acutely aware of the profound importance of the sound fiscal policy and well thought out tax reforms in our country. With its vast potential and abundant resources, Nigeria is positioned to make significant strides in economic development. However, to harness this potential, we must address the challenges and opportunity presented by our fiscal policy and tax system. Your Excellency, the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by the Secretary to the Federal Government, your Excellency, the President of the Senate, the Uncommon Transformer, the same way Senator Dr. Godswill Obod Akwabio, you're welcome, sir. The Honorable Speaker, House of Representatives, His Excellency, Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, PhD, the Deputies, Senate President, the Excellency Senator Jubrin Barrow, CON. You're welcome, sir. The script I have before me, the content of it is from the Governor of Akwaibom State to this honorable gathering, but the voice you'll hear is that of Senator Akone Yaani, the Deputy Governor of Akwaibom State. So permit me to please go through the remark of the governor of Akwaibom State. It once again underscores the commitment of the 10th Senate to making laws for the economic prosperity and well-being of Nigerians. With a growing population, volatility of the crude oil markets and the diminishing relevance of fossil fuels, it has become imperative for governments to, at all levels to explore alternative sources of public finance and adopt creative means of managing same in order to keep meeting the obligations to the people. Thankfully, the legislature is taking the lead in this regard, hence this timely retreat. Distinguished Senators and our guests, I want to seize this wonderful and unique opportunity to appreciate the organizers of this retreat on fiscal policy and tax reforms to address distinguished senators of Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm glad that the theme of the retreat aptly resonates with the urgent need to put our dear nation on the path of economic rejuvenation. In a global economic downturn, 
I'm particularly delighted that this theme is so important that we need to keep ourselves abreast and have the full understanding of the theme, fiscal policy and class reform. Fiscal policy, as we know, it is the tool that is used by government to shape any economy in order to have sustainable growth of every economy and to reduce poverty. So it's important that we should have full understanding of this theme. So I'm really glad that uh, it is the theme of this uh, retreat. In the world of great economic challenges, only nations that are endowed with great thinkers can break through. This equally requires thinking outside the box. Therefore, fiscal policy and tax reforms that guarantee a nation's survival without adding to the economic woes of, uh, of East citizenry must be central to the nation's policies and governance. Our Simon, I dare say, has been made quite interesting because the nation's chief executive officer, His Excellencies, His Excellency Senator Wola Ahmed Tenubu, has two to type put together a cabinet of time-tested, highly qualified technocrats who are committed and great professionals, whose wealth of experience Nigeria needs at this critical moment of our lives. Your Excellency is past president of the Senate, leader of the Senate, distinguished Senator Michael Ope Mi Bamidele, principal officers of the Senate, Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Femi Hakim Bajabia Mila, the Chief of Staff, distinguished senators present and past, the immediate past Chief of uh, Staff to the President, Muhammad Buhari, and former Under Secretary to the United Nations, former uh, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, Honorable Minister of Finance and Co Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Olawule Edun, other ministers here present, the Chairman of Federal Ill Revenue Service, the clerk to the National Assembly, Alaji Isani Magaji Tambuan. Although our debt to GDP ratio remains relatively low, compared to many countries, the proportion of revenue spent on debt servicing is extremely high, which can constrain the fiscal space for other developmental needs. Other challenges include inefficient tax collection, as attested by our low tax to GDP ratios. Only a few weeks ago, the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms, Mr. Tayo Oedele, disclosed that Nigeria loses about 20 trillion, 20 trillion Naira, which is about equivalence of $26 billion annually to gaps existing within its tax system, including evasion, inefficiencies in collection modes, weak enforcement, and a large informal sector that remain outside the tax net. Another factor that has negatively impacted the efficiency of our tax system is the multiplicity and duplication of taxes. To God be the glory. Let me salute the Commander-in-Chief, President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Chinubu, GCFR, ably represented by the Coordinating Minister of the Nigerian Economy and Minister of Finance, my dear brother, Wale Edu. Let us discuss in this forum on ways of assisting the federal government, assisting federal inland revenue service and all revenue generating agencies to push more money to the federal government to align and also achieve its objectives. 
some of the agencies of government engage in bill and keep and bill and spend. And when they are tired of spending, they send, they send the surplus, if any, to the consolidated revenue account of the federal government. Is it not unconstitutional? Because the constitution says all money should go to the, the consolidated revenue account of the federal government before they are shared out. But we also come to make small, small laws here and there, empowering agencies to generate, keep, spend, uh, do what you like. We even create a central bank through policies and laws that end up becoming a competitor to the federal government. So you have, you have created a government within a government through, what, through legislation. And yet we know as legislators that any law, whether it is state or federal, that any provision that is inconsistent with the ground norm, which is the constitution, is null and void to the extent of that inconsistency. Am I right? So what we are doing is, is something we need to review. Nigerian economy grew and achieved rapid, sustained, and inclusive growth, which means taking us far from the 3% level that we are at now and sustaining it over the years and making it inclusive so all are carried along, particularly women and particularly the youth. And he cannot do this all by himself. It has to be a team effort. And of course, the legislature and you, the senators, have a key role to play. At this time of uh, when you are considering the medium term economic frame, framework and the fiscal st uh, sustainability program, it's tip topical and timely that you should be having this uh, retreat. Because, of course, after the MTEF and the FSP, you will be considering the budget. And I'm sure, as Mr. President is committed to, you also are committed to maintaining the fine tradition of having the budget considered, passed, and signed into law by December 31st. And of course, it will take the collaboration, it will take the teamwork, and it will take the understanding of all. So, on that note, I would like to once again commend Nils, who are organizing this, and the whole Senate leadership and the entire membership of the Senate for being here at this time to consider this very important topic, fiscal policy and tax reform. The task of the leaders is to get their people from where they are to where they've not been. How do we hold our leaders accountable in the business of lawmaking and representation? The mandate that you have given to us is not abuse in any way. 
the primary purpose of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the Nigerian people. The constituency project had noble intentions and they still remain the most veritable tool. Do they really know their representatives are the states and national assemblies? Our people, they don't have water, they are suffering. They, they only drink water from where they fall. For the current one, the intent assembly, I don't really know who is in charge. From the mountaintops to the deepest valleys, we're ready to go an extra mile just to show Nigerian your constituency project. Know your representative with Maria, bridging the visible gap.